joining us for Ask Stacy and Amanda on Bank of North Dakota Live. Um, we are live usually at 2.30 every Tuesday. Sometimes we go a little bit earlier, a little later, just depending on what we have going on. Um, so like always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave us a comment below. Send us a direct message if it's something private and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, today, we are switching it up from the usual college planning tips to some financial literacy. Um, so we are joined today by Lance Hill, who is our financial literacy manager here at the Bank of North Dakota and Todd Van Orman who is one of the assistant professors of finance at the University of Mary and we're talking financial literacy um, avoiding holiday debt so thank you to the both of you for joining me today for this topic well, thanks um, for having us yeah, this is great. absolutely yeah it's, it's very seasonal um, you know just coming off of Thanksgiving weekend Black Friday Cyber Monday small business Saturday the list goes on and on um, for all of that so um, I'm sure you know a lot of people like me probably spent already a little bit more than we <laughs> needed to on the holidays um, it, so, it happens uh, you know statistically yeah. The average American last year spent a little over a thousand dollars, a thousand fifty-four dollars, on credit cards to get through the holiday season. That is insane. It is because you know you want to spend time with your family and friends and make the most of the season. But not only is Christmas kind of stressful because of all of the activity, you've got the financial side too. And when you live on credit and don't plan for it properly, it can cause a lot of a lot of problems. And just to piggyback on that statistic a little bit, another statistic out there says um, eighty-one percent of people are planning on spending. Um, at least the same, um, about a quarter are planning on spending more this holiday season than they did last year. So, you know, that, that statistic is from 2017 and, and no end in sight, I guess, for 2018. So, um, likely it'll be up yeah. a little bit. It's an ongoing issue. Mm -hmm. And now when you're talking, you know, holiday debt, it's not just gifts for family and friends. It's all other types of holiday related cheer. That was something I found online. Um, but it's, so it's right. meals, it's travel, it's, you know, all those little extra things that, Th that things come you don't up. think about yeah I mean not everybody flies to Maui for a tropical Christmas but you know are you taking the kids in the van going a couple hundred miles away to visit grandpa and grandma mm -hmm. you got traveling expenses you got food items you know again like you say it's not just presents but there are a lot of incidentals that, that happen over the holidays we just don't plan for or even think about mm -hmm. uh, absolutely and I think even with gift giving um, we think of kind of the core people that we give gifts to you know our friends and, and our close friends and family but you know, there's always something a little extra. You know, do you have to bring the white elephant gift to the, the office Christmas party? Do you have a, a secret Santa event going on somewhere? Yeah. Um, so it's just kind of those little extras that even if you do try to budget, a lot of times those kind of sneak in there on you. Yeah. yeah. So what are some good tips? I know you already alluded to one, but what are some good tips um, that folks can kind of employ during the holiday season to maybe not quite reach that thousand dollar mark or at least, you know, have a moder moderate level of right. debt. <laughs> sure. Really the magic word is budgeting. Budget, budget, budget. I mean, mm -hmm. irregardless if it's, you know, July or December, you know, we need to do a better job of budgeting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you can keep your presence realistic based on your budget, you don't have to, you know, go into debt. Your, your, your children, your grandchildren, your family want to spend time with you with the reason for the season. And, you know, just Track your, track your expenses and try to stay on budget as best you can. And, and go in with the budget. So instead of, um, one of the things I pulled up online, um, it's a budgeting app called Envelopes. Um, go in with a, a gift or with a budget rather than a gift list. When we do a gift list, then we just kind of spend what we need to to get to that gift list. Right. Whereas if you start with a budget, you kind of find a gift that falls within that and, and really being able to stick to that um, yeah. is, is key. It really is key. Uh, it's a little late for this year, but mm -hmm. For next year, I always recommend Christmas clubs. A lot of employers have Christmas clubs okay. either through their, their credit union, their bank. But you know, Christmas comes every December 25th. It shouldn't be a shock to most of us. Yeah. So you know, if you can put away $50 a month, $100 a month, whatever your Christmas budget is, you can plan for it and avoid a lot of the stress that most of us who procrastinate wait till the very end to shop, don't have the money to pay for it. It's a lot of us. <laughs> yeah. Been absolutely. there, done that. Just simplify. Yeah, I know me. I haven't bought one gift yet. So family, friends. Sorry. Um, yeah. but that yeah. just means you still have time to react to yes. I still have time. Does that mean we don't have our gifts yet? <laughs> yeah. Bingo. Yeah, okay. Um, That's what so, I yeah, I mean, planning ahead. So, you know, a little late for this year, but for 2019, yeah. I mean, you can start in January once you start chipping away, hopefully, at the debt that you don't accrue this Christmas. Absolutely. Um, so, how about credit cards? Well, really, I think. Um, I'm going to go back to budgeting, and, and if you have done your planning ahead of time, hopefully you don't even you don't have to tap into those credit cards. Mm -hmm. If you do, and, and again, you're certainly not alone if if you end up putting some of those gifts on credit cards. Um, 
just the idea of, of paying it down as quickly as you can. Um, and I know Lance, um, we were talking earlier, you had a really good tip about not putting your credit card on file. We'll let right. you on, yeah, go with that. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a big deal because I am an Amazon shopper mm -hmm. and it is my fatal flaw, especially during the holidays. But mm -hmm. you know, you have the option of keying in your credit card information and you just hit the button and bingo, in a couple days you've got a gift on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. If you can manually make yourself put in that credit card every time you shop, it's just another you know, 30, 40 seconds where hopefully your mind is asking you, do I really need to buy this? Mm -hmm. Is it strictly impulsive? You know, it gives you a chance to, to think things through before you actually get that button and, and buy it. Right. That's a really good tip, actually. And it's not true just during the holidays. Um, a lot of people, it's a lot harder to spend cash than it is to swipe. Whether it's a credit card or a debit card, it's a lot easier to swipe that plastic than it is to lay down that 50 or that $100 bill. So if you're somebody who has trouble sticking to a budget, do that physical budget. Actually take out the cash and say, I'm going to spend, even if it's that thousand dollars this year I'm taking out a thousand in cash when that's gone that's gone um, and then I can see that my limit's been reached exactly and some gifts don't cost a penny because a lot of people that have children grandchildren they do IOUs you know maybe they'll they'll do some chores around the house for mom and dad or or clean the garage whatever you know it's people are starved for time during the holidays we have Christmas parties we have white elephant gifts that we've got to buy you know it, the ultimate gift can be time and it doesn't cost a penny if, if you're willing to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And that can, you know, be the gift that keeps on giving. Right. You know, you tell mom or dad or whoever that you're going to do something and you can schedule that in, you know, February or March or over the right. summer. So it's not just, oh, this is yeah. what you're doing right now, but it's something that you can spend time with throughout the year. You can do it year round. It's mm -hmm. good advice no matter what time of the year it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, one other thing I would say is, is if you do find yourself strapped for cash, um, starting some traditions that don't um, don't cost anything, or at least cost less. So, um, volunteering together as a family, um, getting together for coffee instead of a, a, an elaborate meal, um, hosting people instead of going out to a restaurant. Again, those are things that can save you money year round. But if we're a little more intentional, I think around the holidays, that's a way to um, to save ourselves a little bit as we you know start to reach our limits and, and hopefully. Um, you're able to avoid going into debt in the first place if, if, that, if you're able to do some of those. Yeah. The goal is really to have really quality family time with your friends and your family, avoid the stress, and just make the best of it and make the most of it. It's a great, it's a great time to celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you know, just asking around here what everyone's doing for the holidays. I mean, it's a time of year where you don't necessarily get to see the people that you do right. all the time. So, yeah, absolutely, great time to, to see everyone. It really is. So, perfect. Well, it looks like our top tips for today are budgeting, planning ahead, um, avoid credit card debt if you can. Um, yeah, and all of that. So uh, let's see, I'm not seeing that we have any questions. So, um, you know, if you're watching this later after we're not live, go ahead and leave us a comment or a question below, send us a direct message and we'll get back to you on that. Um, next week, Stacy will be live. She'll be talking everyone through how to set up their North Dakota Dollars for Scholars profile because scholarship season is right around the corner. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Stacy will be doing an actual like walkthrough on the website so it'll be a super helpful um thing for everyone so if you're a high school senior or a current college student you want to make sure not to miss that so thanks again to lance and todd for Thank joining you. me today um and everyone we will see you when we see you so all right bye